I grew up in, uh, in Vernon, New Jersey. We were like the, pretty much the first Hispanic family. And uh, going to school, uh, you know, actually it was kind of funny, the first, uh, the first year or two, people, uh, people used to ask me if I was black. It wasn't easy really being a, a kid performer in a Catholic school in New Jersey with a bunch of kids who didn't really understand. This kid who, who, I, who I became friends with eventually, he was actually bullied um, because he was, a, he was a big kid. He was a large kid. He said, oh, I just, you know, I just brush that off. I just brush it off. But, but you knew it was, it's not an easy thing to brush off. I moved to New York to do a Broadway show and had, you know, the greatest group of friends here. And I got back to high school and I started to get bullied because I was a dancer, because I was shorter than everybody else. I dropped out of high school and I started homeschooling because of that reason. I battled bullying probably from when I was God, as young as I can remember up until high school. If people are too scared to speak up about things, then that's what lets situations like homophobia and bullying keep continuing. I think the worst role to take in that situation is the person who either just sits there, sits in the back and laughs, or walks by and says nothing. We know that in the bullying scenario, there's really three characters. There is the bully, the victim, and the bystander. Tyler Clemente was the young man from Rutgers University who um, was cyberbullied. He ultimately ended up jumping off the George Washington Bridge. And in Tyler's situation, we knew that there were a lot of people witnessing what was going on, but nobody reached out to Tyler. And that really, we believe, might have changed the outcome. So we have four charities that we have decided to connect with Bear the Musical. And the Tyler Clemente Foundation is gonna be a benefactor. Another one is Athlete Ally. What we do is try and educate, and I think we, what Bear is trying to do is also try and educate, so I think it's a great relationship, and I can't wait for opening night. Bear certainly uh, tells the story that it's okay to be who you are. Stories like this should hopefully help let people know that that is not the only answer and that's not what they have to be doing. I hope that audiences will take away from this show that um, all it takes to start change is people speaking up. Why not be part of something positive? Stand up for someone who's getting picked on. Yes, they